Hey, YouTubers, and I don't mean just you people that are floating around on tubes. This is Zanzibar here, again. You do remember me, don't you? I thought I'd swim on over and have a chat. It's been a long time. Our schools are buzzing with your news. We hear that in your energy news, that any news, that the PBFT, that is short for Pacific Bluefin Tuna, is in dire straits. It read that the tuna still contaminated with Fukushima radiation. It certainly is. Does this surprise you, humans? Your studies show that a poison, a killer called cesium, has invaded the young bluefin tuna. That if those tested a hundred percent are poisoned with the invisible killer cesium, the small tuna that migrated to your waters in the once great Pacific neighborhood are now polluted, contaminated, carrying a terrible poison with them. A killer. Yes, it is. You know, by human measurements, something we do not have a need for down here, March 11th, 2011, the whole earth became devastated by the hands of mankind himself. Land forms and water both. How is it I get so hungry every time I use that word, human? Oh, sorry there, I was just thinking out loud. Now back to the devastation. Something humans call nuclear power, which we here in the waters of Earth call total insanity, blew up after the great mixer of waters you call those earthquakes. And the angers of the waters, which you call tsunamis. Yes, what a day that was. I remember it very well. Do you? You must not forget that day. In your measurements, that March 11th, of 2011, for it will be in force for many, many of your human years to come. Many years will your mankind suffer the effects of your own technology failure, as will mine, offspring will be mutated, those that survive the birthing. Many once are now no more. Yes, though you humans do not speak of this, many of your race and mine have already perished since the great shaking and disaster. I came to you September 24th that year, 2011, and I warned you of your delicacy, the tuna, your tuna sandwich. I admit I had ulterior motives at the time. Yes, I really did not want to eat anything that was contaminated by this killing poison called radiation, 
cesium, they call it. Your leaders in the America land form told you no concern needed. I told you of much concern needed. Still your children ate the tuna fish sandwich that you yourself prepared. Oh, no, you didn't. Swam in the waters where we are struggling to survive. Now, in your own eeny news, you read that 100% of the young tuna are themselves contaminated by this, this demon, cesium. It is so. Yes, it is. And they are not alone. Our seas, our oceans, once the pools of great life forms and life sustaining food for the humans, Oh, I hope you didn't hear my stomach growl when I said that. That we're humans. Well, as I was saying, the food. Yeah, are no more. No more. Once they used to be. Those great life forms and life-sustaining foods that were in the oceans and seas are no more what once they were and may never be again for many, many years. So again I say, you might just want to step back away from that tuna sandwich. And yes, other seafood too. Well, you see, we all live, eat, and drink in these waters seasoned with your cesium, your strontium, and more contaminants, those poisons that kill without prejudice, those that lest you and the insanity will prove to be forever. I hear through the schools that the great Columbia River, that's a real fine dining place for me, well at least the mouth of it, it's over there in your west, in that land called America. Well it's now the home of nuclear waste too. Really, are your schools not open, humans? Do you not learn? Do you? Time for me to depart. Heed the evidence on your shorelines. Share what your own eyes can see. The shorelines, unlike your leaders, do not lie. So we'll catch you later. Maybe in another year. Until then, abstain. Abstain from that tuna sand.